Hello, so this is the video for question number three. Um, I did these videos a little <coughs> a little backwards. Sorry about that. Um, so for question number two, we have quite a lot of math here, to be honest. Um, but what it comes down to is figuring out what our V out is going to be equal to. And I found that the V out right here to this circuit is uh, minus one times the quantity V1 times the current through our um, resistor here, the R gain, times 10K, because these guys are going to share a current here, minus the quantity V2 times, again, the current going through this branch, um, all plus the reference voltage that we have going on here. So after doing all of this work for question number two, if we go over here to question number three, this is derive the transfer function, Oops. derive the transfer function, uh, or the gain for the differencing amplifier in question number two. So important information that we're going to need to know here. Let me move in a little bit. R1 equal to 10K, R2 equal to 10K, the reference voltage equal to 5K, and the reference ground equal to 5K, while the reference reference voltage remains the same at 3 volts. So in the video, um, I don't know if uh, you know this, but in the video I saw that you referenced a online, um, I don't want to say forum, but a website that had the V out is equal to the, the gain of the circuit times the difference between V2 and V1, which is uh, rather important. I was looking through my notes uh, during lecture and I couldn't quite find it. Um, but anyways, so we know V in 2 is equal to this equation. We know V in 1 is equal to this equation. Sorry, my cat's playing right now. Um, so if we plug V in 2 and V in 1 equal to this equation up here, we're left with this. Here, here, plus 3. So we have the gain is equal to that. So unfortunately, I actually didn't write that right here. Um, yeah, never mind. Okay. So we have the V out of this guy. It's going to be equal to this. But it's also going to be equal to the gain times V in 2 minus V in 1. So we have this original part right here being plugged into this guy right here. And then we have AV, the gain, times V in 2 minus V in 1. And so I basically just divided the right-hand side by V in 2 minus V in 1, which is this guy and this guy. Oops, sorry. Which is this guy and this guy. And of course, what we do on the right, we got to do on the left. So I did the same here. And I know it's a little confusing with all of these uh, um, brackets here, but... Um, I found that if we distribute this negative, we run into a situation where we have this quantity V2 times IRG times 10K um, becomes positive, and this quantity here, V1 times IRG times 10K, becomes negative, which is exactly like taking V in 2 and subtracting V in 1. Which is nice, because that means that both of these will end up canceling out, equaling to 1, and we're left with the gain being equal to our reference voltage here, which is 3. Um, yeah, that seems to work out to me.